Baba. 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 Hello and welcome to the Gender Chat Show. I'm your host, Adeza Wampo. And I am Olumide Oyibo Kuri. Today on the show, we'll be discussing full-time husband. Would you support your husband to stay home and take care of your needs? I mean, cleaning, cooking, your children. Of course, some people are already doing it. Would you do that, Olumide? I mean, there's even a slogan that says, if the woman tastes the dust, then the husband should taste the dusters. There's a lot of names attached to men staying home. Uh, I hear names like a uh, household father, yeah. domestic husband, mm -hmm. domestic husband, stay yeah. Home I dad, stay all sorts dad. of names. But is it bad for is a man really to stay bad? home and take care of the home? Especially if you don't have the financial capacity to to bring the baking home. The baking home. Yes, if your wife earns far far better than you earn. Well, maybe you should consider she staying says, home. And why not stay home and take care of the home? Why I go and bring the bread home? Well, of course, we are in a society where a man is expected to live up to expectation, wake up in the morning, go hustle, bring the money home. And they frown at a man staying at home. Don't do harsh chores. It's not manly. It's not manly. Why can't you just go and fend for the family? You are the breadwinner. I know him. <laughs> but the reality of, of the fact is that a whole lot of men are staying home. We don't want to target full-time husband, but it is true. It they is, are staying it home. It is true. But if you're not adding value, if you're not bringing him money, why won't you just why won't you just walk around the house? Why won't you choose to sweep, clean, clean the bake house, your children, cook? cook? I mean, do the needful. Well, it's the Nigerian. Please don't watch all so we'll discussing on the gender chat, so please don't go away while we bring our guests to discuss with us. Welcome back viewers, and if you're just joining us, this is the Gender Chat Show. And we are discussing a very interesting topic, full-time husband. Do you think it's right for the husband to stay at home and do the chores? Clean the house, beat the children, cook, while the wife go and get the money home. With us on the studio today are two wonderful guests. We have Mrs. Uh, Itsunu Adenewale, the stockbroker. Thank Welcome you for to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And also, Mr. Adeyinka Funsho Adibowale, a legal practitioner. Together, we will be discussing from the issue. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Husband. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. So, full time house husband. What's your take on that? Do you think it's ideal for the man to stay home? and cook, clean the house, get the children, while the woman go out and bring the money home, given that society might frown at this. Because normally or naturally, the man is meant to go out and be the breadwinner, while the woman sits at home and do all those uh, household chores. But you know, trend is changing. Times are changing. Uh, well, thank you. I... I don't ordinarily believe in the conventional um, definition of um, these roles are meant for the females, these other roles are meant for the males. Now, that's on one side. On the other side, I also strictly believe it's the man's um, natural duty to be the provider to fend for the family, meaning leaving the house and going out. But I feel Men that leave the house go to provide for their family combat by that act in itself does not exclude them from also participating in um, domestic chores or domestic running of the house. You know, that's my, my, my opinion. When you say the natural duty of men to fend for the home, you need to, you need to know that back in the days, your strength is what you need to fend for yourself because you have to plow, you have to farm, you have to rear cattles, go fishing and all that. Now it's your intellectual capacity that determines how much you can aim. If you have a situation where the woman is aiming big, say seven figures, and you're aiming, say, 
<laughs> zero <laughs> figure. One twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah. You could bring one innovation as a woman in your office that drives your promotion and all that. When you have such huge um, benefit economically, is it advisable to have um, the man stay home and you know cater to the home? Uh, well, like I said, I I think the, the easiest illustration I would want to give is that um, that of the the man being the the provider, the protector, the first person that should um, do something about anything, anything that comes out of the house. Now, you rightly pointed out, we are in days that um, you don't always earn as much as your spouse, your wife, your wife earns. earns. But suffices by time that the man is seen to be making efforts. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the lack of effort at all that will be the problem. <laughs> I've worked that um, there was a time and my wife actually earned more than me. I, well, I was an entrepreneur. Well, it, it never, there was never an issue because I could make all our salary in one deal and I may not for a while. And that time I remember always telling myself I'll be in a point that I would even not know how my wife spends her salary. And literally I don't. So, I don't think it's the issue of that your wife earns more than you then go and sit down at home, change pampas, just in that. Yeah. But of course you should do that if you have a family. You're not doing it because your wife earns more than you, you're doing it because those are your other roles that you should do as part of that family. That, that's what I think. And the meeting? Yeah, I totally agree with um, what Inka just said. I don't share the sentiment of men staying back at home to, um, to assume the traditional role of um, caregivers, let me put it that way, for, uh, for their kids. I, I, I understand that there are times when the man might not, might not be heading as much as the, as, the, as, as the wife, but that's not an excuse. You know, there should be an effort, like he said, on your part to do something to contribute to your, to your, to your, to your home. You know, there's this ego a man has, when he has something to drop, even though it's not as much as what the wife is dropping, but at least I'm, I'm also putting something down, you know, I'm also contributing something to the household. There's this, there's, it's, it's just masculine in nature, I think. It's, it's, it's men's makeup. They just want to, they want to take the lead, lead. you know, they want to, they want to feel... Six things. Yes, you want to give your wife an instruction and you're happy she's carrying it out, not because Oh, I can't. I don't have. I, I, can't, I don't have a say in the house. She drops all the money, so she she's the one that cut the short, and she's the one that dictates whatever happens in the house. So that uh, I'm hearing lesser than my wife. It's not an excuse for anybody to to be laid back. I don't share that. Sentiment. But what if but there are men who would love to, would stay, love to home. stay home and yeah. do those things? But really, because what is society? Because thing. some men do. Okay. I enjoy doing these things. Okay, you're saying that. Okay, what if, as a man, you enjoy doing that? There's no, yeah. there's no harm. Sincerely, the challenge I think we have with our society is that we've assumed, as in we've, uh, we've taken, we've allowed women to take the position of they do all the chores, they do all the cleaning, they do all the taking care of the children. As sincerely, it's, 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 it should be something done by the, by the, by the two Both parties. Okay. You understand? Parenting is between yes, the two it's, parties. Yes, it's, it's not my, it's not the lady's child. It's not the lady's, lady's house. house. It's her house. It's her, house. It's her our children, you understand? So let's assume I have, I'm a man that enjoy doing that. That's okay. not an excuse. Now for, for it, as in not to do the regular job, no matter how little, there's a way it affects hmm. a man's head. Man, you know, man, you know it's just when you go out and everybody's talking, it, you know. There was a time, like uh, Inka said, that he was an entrepreneur. I was an entrepreneur, and when my female colleagues are talking, that's this. I just withdraw because you know they, I'm like I'm just on my own. I'm not in that office environment. I'm not in that formal environment. Mm. I don't share. Mm. I don't see what it's. Oh, I know. I just I, there's this uh, what, uh, an inferiority complex. You know, I'm just there. I'm just I just wish I was working in, 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 in an office environment which I can just contribute. But sincerely, it's just it's just personal. When I say open, like that's not different. You know, so, is it ideal to tag such men who enjoy doing those chores? I mean, the cleaning of the house, beating the children and cooking, as lazy and idle men? No, I don't. I don't. I, I won't say that. Okay. I won't say that because the, the reason why I won't share, I won't um, share that sentiment is because, like I said, if a man loves 
to do chores. Mm. A man likes to be at home with the kids, take care of the wife. You know, there's, there's I, when I was like, there are some patent, patent job. He or she can, as in the man can take. Let me mm. let me say she. Let's mm. talking, talking about the man. Uh, um, he can pick up. You know, he can do something. He can be blogging. You know, he can be a writer. As one of things, even let's assume you you are home. You working from home. Working from home. Okay. You know, that doesn't mean you as in you tag that man because my own my own issue is that he, my, my, the issue I have with that is the the way the man sees himself. You know, and because sincerely, traditionally, a man is the head of the family, a man is the breadwinner, you know, so when you're not tagging um, a stay-at-home dad, it yeah. just feels like... <laughs> lady father. Tag takes the lady, man lady. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, here yeah, you can be, you can, you, you can work from the house, you know, I, have, I know so many men that work from the house, there is a mm. lawyer friend of mine, the wife is a banker, because of the uh, routine the wife runs, I will work from the house, so I can't supervise the children, but that doesn't make him a stay-at-home dad. You know, because he still hands, mm. you know, but he's not as, he's not handling as much as the wife. But if he has decided to sacrifice that for, for his children, that's mm. a beautiful one. You know, but now Dan him and say, oh, he's just one of those men that doesn't have work to do. I won't, I won't, I won't share that. Uh, Yinka, uh, some believe that the longer the time the, the man spends at home with the children, it, it's better for the children or, or, or the child. It's the, the child tends to grow self-esteem and feels a father figure. I mean, how, how, how true is that? Let's just go on a break. I'll <laughs> come back you answer that. <laughs> All right, we'll be right oh. back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Gender Chat Show and we're discussing full-time husband. Okay, just before we went on the break, he was asking. Yeah, I was asking her that uh, people believe that the longer uh, the father stay home with the children, it tends to build the child's self-esteem, and they believe that the longer the father stay home with the family. I mean, how can you justify that? Well, I, I, I would say I, I largely believe in that theory, mm -hmm. but well, um, I'm thinking not necessarily. The longer mm. the father stays, I would probably say the, the richness mm. of the man's mm. interaction with his family. Yeah. Okay. Um, I actually came across that, um, that thought online recently. Okay. You know, they were saying in America, for instance, that you'd see fathers that probably they were like real gangsters mm. from the street. Mm. But <laughs> when they are told with their kids, the you know, instance, and the maybe like and the likes. And the likes the effect of daughters on fathers, mm. you know. And you see them totally being veggies. So soft. Mm, so being, uh, like the best thing. Fathers in the bread and wow. all that. And truth, truthfully, I've mm. seen that the, the bond between, between them. the children and the father, father, when the father is a responsible father, mm. it makes the family more cohesive. Mm. Of course, they, they bond from the, the bond. mother. It's almost like a natural, a natural thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But when the father's own also complements, Com you see it totally. Um, I saw this movie recently, Inside Out. It's like a cartoon thing. It was showing on family bonding and mm. how, in the subconscious of the child, the child. it builds um, self esteem. Things. So okay. you would see, they would say, family, family, I can't remember how they put it, but let's say, like, family bridge. Yeah, okay. bridge. You see family bridge, you see friendship bridge, bridge. you see academic bridge. So, and now bridge. what forms the family bridge is usually the first impression of the child, child on, on any the, of the parent. Of the parent on any situation. Mm. So in that in that movie, I think the father was so close to mm. the daughter that they had this game that they play. So the child the late child had become like a teenager. She still remembered and mm. it brought smiles. Wow. Okay, so wow. I, I strongly agree with that um, line of thought say that it's not necessarily the longer, the longer but the richer quality in the quality time they spend yes. uh, mrs it's uh, so uh what if your husband decides to stay home <laughs> and be a domestic father <laughs> what will be your reaction wow. how will you take that okay personally since that's a personal question <laughs> yes i will be happy Okay. Um, because I know my husband is not a lazy person. Hmm. He, he decided to stay at home today and say, okay, I want to take care of the children. I'll be so glad. 
Mm. Because yeah. I know that he likes to stop the internet, he likes to do some other things, he likes to write business plan for whatever, and some, some other things, mm. activities he does. So I'm like, God, you need to relax. So I feel that will give him um, enough time to do those things that, that he needs. As in, he likes to draw, he likes to paint. You know, those things can come alive. alive. As long as it's not just at home at doing, least, nothing, doing nothing, you know. So staying at home for me, it's not, it's not a bad idea. As long as you're also still coming on with, as in you're still dropping some one or two. So you think here. doing the, uh, the chores, cleaning the house, cooking is, is nothing? Think it's of not, a child sincer is not? Sincerely, I, I, I think I know you kind of need to, and these are the things I, I, I know you kind of used to do. You can cleans the house, as in it's just, as in readily available in the house. You want, you want this to wash, let me really help you do this. I, I don't think there's anything bad. We know our society is a patriarchal, Hmm. Uh, we're very cultural. Yeah. We are, yeah. If a woman, as a matter of fact, I have a family friend. The lady works in the bank. She doesn't like to cook except as a weekend. So she cooks and puts everything in the fridge in and the fridge. all that. If our in-laws are coming, be it sister-in-law, brother-in-law, mother-in-law, you need to see her cook daily. Hmm. You need to see her change <laughs> to be. You know, you see, you see, our culture gives you the sense of this is not your role as a woman. Yeah. So you pretend to be fantastic with it when you have an outsider. Outside sure. But within, between you and your husband, it's okay. Your husband will tell you, it's fine. It's Don't fine. worry, I'll do it. It's just okay. So how do we make people feel relaxed? That it's just okay. It's okay. fine to do all those things. As in, our culture is not helping. Uh, well, I, I think it, it gets to a point that, um, okay, the, you know, there's, they, they say culture is not barbaric. Um, but of course, culture should also ordinarily evolve. Evolve. Yeah. evolve. yeah. You have the time. processes that evolve. Yeah. There's a good thing, but there's always a better way of doing True. that good thing. So now, for instance, um, I think every man should be able to own up and um, redefine tradition, tradition to suit your purpose. Mm. Or, or, or your home. Yeah, your redefine home. I, I, well, I, thankfully, I did um, the tribal marriage. Wow. I'm the law in my house, mm. based on agreement with my wife. Given that you are even a lawyer. So, <laughs> <laughs> whoever is, is interestingly, my mom, my mom had come home one time, my wife does a very rigorous um, job, and then she comes home, she wants to cook, I'm like, don't mm. even dare. Mm. Let's go and chava and sleep. Is it that you want to burn the food or burn the food in the house? <laughs> you know? Exactly. So, and my mom was around that time, and I remember she just went to the kitchen and fixed herself something to eat. Mm. Because truth is, if it was just me and her, not like I wasn't a properly brought up child, but it's unlikely I would go and cook for my mother mm. at this stage. Don't get me wrong. Mm. You know, so she can all, also all give the same leverage. Leverage. Do you mind? Mm. She won't treat me other than she will treat my wife. wife. So meaning, Good. yes, there are instances, okay, so we look forward to um, holidays okay. that my wife is not working. In fact, people that have come to our house on such days, you will be quick to run out of the house after my wife is offering you the fourth meal. <laughs> <laughs> she enjoys it. I'm not readily a, food, a foodie person, but I also like that she really sees that she can do that hmm. on a day that she can do it. On the days she can't do it, she doesn't do, have to do it. And if I can understand and manage, so no disrespect, who are you? Mm. That's how it works in my house. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, uh, uh, Barrister, you, you're married by what you said, and say you're married, and you have, uh, you have children? Yeah, I have a very pretty daughter. Wow, yeah, I can imagine. I love her. Really <laughs> beautiful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's, she's the one that's eating my money. <laughs> <laughs> I rock, I rock your pocket. <laughs> so, how, how much time do you devote to your daughter? Like Balancing uh, work, work and the home and wanting to give your child that quality time, like you said, that rich time, like you said. So, how much more, how, how, how do you balance it? Okay, well, truth is, okay, I'm a typical working father in Lagos. I do a 5 a.m. till whenever I come home oh. today, these days. But I, 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 I tell myself the day I'm not doing that and oh. the day I can get home early, 
I take advantage of it. And I spend the whole time with the child doing whatever she wants to do. Wow. Mm. Even if all she wants to do is to, she can't talk, she's still a baby. But all she wants to do is, you know, play hide and seek, hide and hide under the chair, laugh. It's not funny to me. But, you know, mm. I see she enjoys it. And that's the much I can give her because I don't believe in, then I'm the providing father, but all, in all I provide, my presence is not there. It, it, that's not just my thing. You find that mm. you exist, it, no? But what is it about being a, a caring or full time husband? Full time husband, you would want domestic us to husband. Take home? That I would what? You want us to take home. You want us to, okay. Like, it. um, um, what, uh, Mika said, yeah. richness. Hmm. You know, while I was surfing the internet, um, looking as, um, for some things last week about on parenting, you know, I discovered that they said that um, a research by the, um, some American um, group that um, some um, kids who have their parents stay at home, yeah. as um, they don't um, they don't do as much as kids who have their parents who do the regular job, a um, eight to five job. Hmm. You know, and so they were saying, does it not mean that it's better to have um, the, parents stay the home? kids, yeah. um, the parents it's work while work. the kids are at home? You know, but like Inka said, the conclusion was richness. Richness, mm. richness. Quality. Like quality. Spending yeah. quality time, learning to play with the kids. You know, we, we can't, uh, he was telling me of a, of a research he, he read of late, how kids spend over 300, uh, over 3,000 hours at home with us as mm. parents and spend a thousand or so in school and spend if you know, like 40 hours or so in church. So we can't give out those responsibilities to others. It still has to do, oh. you know. So whether it's, if, whether it's the father or the mother, like he said, richness, quality, quality is key. key. All right, mm. Mark, thank wow. you so much for coming on the show. <laughs> thank we you so really much appreciate your presence. Hopefully you'll be around to join us some of the time. Of course. <laughs> okay, viewers at home, please let's get to the street and find out what chat has think about today's topical issue. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to first go back to the Bible. The Bible says a man shall be the head of the family. And now, if a man should be the head of the family, and the, the role of a man is now going to be taken over by the woman, then automatically that man cannot have a say again in the house. If the wife says, sit down, you should obey. Because when they say you are the head of the family, you can actually give some instructions to your wife, which she must do. But in the case where the wife is now taking the position of the husband, then any order or any instructions that comes in the house, he should know that he is now the helpmate and the wife is the real owner of the house. So to me, I would definitely say I don't support that because you are actually changing the plan of God for your life. And if things does not work well, you will know you cost it. You will be held responsible for your actions. But I think it shouldn't be allowed in this society because it's a kind of misnomer. In the in the Al Quran, the Al Quran said the husband, the man, should be in power of the woman. She should take care of the women. So being a full-time husband is not going to be allowed. I don't think it should be allowed in this society because you are definitely transferring your right as a husband, as a man, to the women, and this shouldn't be. This shouldn't be allowed because as a man, there are certain rights in which you have over your women. As a man, you have some certain rights in which you have in the society. As a man, you have so many things in which you should do for your family. Like example, just providing shelter, clothing, housing for them. It will be wrong sometimes when you say women should do all this because at least when you look at the body of a woman, of most women, they are, they are, their body are designed to do some certain kind of work in which, in which men shouldn't do and men's body physiology is being designed to do some certain kind of work in which women shouldn't so saying uh, or putting it to people that okay our full-time house husband should be allowed i think it shouldn't be allowed in this society it, people should even shouldn't even think of it in this society because it's going to cause a misnomer in the environment in my opinion on the issue of a man uh, a man being the breadwinner and a woman as well i feel both parties should actually contribute to it because both if there's a problem on any of the sides, one can support the other. It's just about understanding between both the male and the female, both the husband and wife, about understanding each other. Like, there's no form of ego about it. Whoever is bringing the checks in, there just has to be an understanding that both of them are in it together to make.
Welcome back. <laughs> it's been quite fun getting to hear people talk about what they think about yeah, men being food. And to think a whole lot of people are doing it. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I mean, we now have uh, men that stay at home calling themselves domestic engineers. They are yeah. proud of it. They are proud of it. Yes, they are engineering how their children will turn out to be. That's yeah, something. that's something. Hmm. That's huge. Domestic engineers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not uh, the the longer the time you the spend, quality, but, but how, the how richness. rich that's the fun. time is hmm. built their self esteem yeah, and all that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Quite so, insightful. Yeah. It's been really fun hanging out with you people. Please feel free to comment, send in your suggestions, and join in the conversation. You can see the address scrolling on your TV screen. Join us same time, same station. I am Adeza Wankwa. And I am Olumide Oyembokure. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>